Now in previous videos, I showed you how to create effects throws, usually delay throws, but it required automation. In this video, I'm gonna show you a better way that doesn't require any automation or envelopes, which makes it a bit more flexible, as you'll see. So a project set up here with a vocal, and you'll notice there's a lot of spaces in the vocal where we could place some delay, but just on those certain sections. But this trick will work with any effect. We could do it with reverb, chorus, flange, anytime you want to add an effect just for certain sections. So let's see what this project sounds like now. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. Who's the target? So let's create a new track that we could use as a delay return. Let's name it delay. Let's put a delay on this track. We'll type delay in the filter and I'll use the read delay plugin, which looks like this. And because we set it up as a send and return, we could turn off the dry on the effect and just use the wet. As the dry sound will be coming from the vocal track and the wet sound or the delay will be coming from the delay track. Let's change the length of the delay to be four eighth notes or a half note. Let's add some feedback for repeats. Let's filter the delay on the top end and the low end. And let's also add a panning effect after this delay. So a delay will pan as well, automatically. I'll choose ping pong pan, make it as wide as possible, and make it a bit faster than the default. And let's also add some reverb to our delay. So go to the routing, add a new send, and send some reverb for the delay, just to wash it out a bit. Then we'll send from the vocal to the delay. It creates this send right here, and we can adjust how much level or how much delay we want to send. Let's hear it. What's the angle? I'm not playing. But as you could tell, that's too much delay as it's delaying all the vocal lines. We don't want that. We just want to choose certain lines to delay so it doesn't get as messy. And the old way to do that is using automation. So you can mute the delay and unmute it just for certain lines like this. What's the angle? I'm not playing. Or we could do it with volume by bringing the send up and down, like this. What's the angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. So we could do it that way, but it does require using automation and envelopes. A better way, at least my preferred way, is to do it by moving our vocal to the delay track. So let's delete this send. Let's select all the vocal items on this track by double clicking the vocal track. I like to turn on locking. So when we duplicate this audio, it's not gonna change the timing. Control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just drag it down to this track. So now we have it on both tracks, but this track, because we set up the delay, to have no dry signal, just wet, we're not gonna hear the vocal twice. This vocal is just gonna send to the delay. And we could bring the volume down over here to adjust it. But again, it's playing everywhere. So now we can just delete or trim this track to just the pieces we want. So I could zoom in, add a fade, have it start over here. What's the angle? Angle, 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 
And we can get this perfect by creating this fade and adjusting where we want the delay to start. What's the angle? Angle, angle? Then split it over here, drag it over, do the same thing on the next line. Add a fade in. I'm not playing that fade. Keep doing that through the whole vocal, which is the pieces we want to delay. With a different with a different Who's the target? That should be good enough for now. And as you can see, we cut up the vocal to just send certain lines to the delay. Like this. What's the angle? Angle, angle, angle? I'm not playing that game. It's the same business with a different name. And this gives us a lot more control. As I could bring up each line if they're too low or too loud by adjusting the level right here. And we can still control the delay level from the track. But before we do that just yet, I'd like to move this track into the vocal track, treating it like a folder. So I could drag this track and drop it right over here. Now this track is in this track as a track folder. We have to readjust our level from here, but now it's going to add all the effects on this track, like the CQ or the reverb or echo already on the vocal track. And we can blend it right here. What's the angle? angle, angle. I'm not playing. And we could also adjust it very quickly by muting certain lines that we don't want to use or delay. Or again, adjust their level against the others. When we're done with this track, we could hide it within this track. Hit this button up here to make it smaller. Or collapse it completely. And it's still going to work the same. What's the angle? And if you want to tweak the effects throws, just open it back up and do it from here. Readjust our fade in, maybe our fade out, adjust the level of the send, all separate from the vocal. What's the angle? angle, angle. I'm not playing. And it gives us a lot more control over the delay as you bring it in on certain sections or certain vocal lines. And because this one is a folder for this one, we could solo the vocal and we'll still hear the delay. What's the angle? angle, angle, angle. I'm not playing that game. It's the same business. Or we can mute the vocal and not hear either. So even if we make this small, we can still solo to hear the vocal with the effect or we'll mute both right from here. And again, this will work with any effect. It could be reverb, chorus, flange. Anytime you want to add a certain effect just to specific lines on a vocal, guitar, or even your drums. And we did this all without automation. 
So that's pretty much it. That's effects throws without automation. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Mm -hmm.